Tonight, a new update in a News 4 investigation. Families left waiting hours when seconds count. You might remember News 4 obtained exclusive documents uncovering major delays with EMSA ambulance service. Some patients waiting an hour or more for paramedics to show up, forcing the Oklahoma City Fire Department to allow firefighters to transport patients in need of life saving care. But tonight, a major shakeup in EMSA leadership. In some of our special reports, we told you EMSA is a public trust, historically operated by a private company, until recently when American Medical Response took over. In late 2020, EMSA and AMR parted ways in an explosive lawsuit, alleging mismanagement and breach of contract. EMSA has now taken over operations, but it's been a rough transition, complicated by COVID-19. Tonight, Jim Wenham has resigned as president and chief executive officer, effective immediately. EMSA releasing a statement thanking Jim for his years of service and commitment before continuing in part, quote, I anticipate the board will conduct a nationwide search to identify a permanent CEO and COO who will uphold EMSA's standard to ensure the organization is providing the highest quality emergency medical care. That's possible to the Oklahomans it serves. EMSA's chief compliance and chief administrative officer, John Easley, will now serve as interim president and CEO, while chief information officer Frank Gresh will serve as interim COO.